हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट स्टेप्स इन फैब्रिकेशन ऑफ कंप्लीट डेंचर द फर्स्ट एवर स्टेप इन मेकिंग द कंप्लीट डेंचर इज डायग्नोसिस एंड ट्रीटमेंट प्लानिंग वी हैव टू डायग्नोज द पेशेंट एंड प्लान आर ट्रीटमेंट अकॉर्डिंगली इन दिस वी डू पेशेंट एवेल्युएशन फिजिकल साइकोलॉजिकल एंड शोशो इकोनॉमिकली वी हैव टू की कंसिडर ऑल दीज थ्री पॉइंट्स वेन एवर वी आर प्लानिंग एनी ट्रीटमेंट ऑन एनी पेशेंट वी हैव टू डू हिस्ट्री टेकिंग विच विल इंक्लूड नेम एज सेक्स एड्रेस ऑक्यूपेशन रीजन एंड पास मेडिकल हिस्ट्री पास डेंटल हिस्ट्री हिस्ट्री ऑफ प्रेजेंट इलनेस एक्सेट्रा In general clinical examination, we have to do CNS, CVS, RS, and GIT examination. In local examination, we have to do extraoral as well as intraoral examination. For extraoral examination, we have to check TMJ, mouth opening, lips. For intraoral examination, we have to check for the residual alveolar ridge, mucosa. palate etc we have to do radiological examination as well and examination of previous dentures if present and examination of pre treatment records if available the second step is pouring the diagnostic cast using dental plaster in this we have to do first survey of the diagnostic cast using a surveyor and identify the presence of any undercut if present we have to measure the depth of the undercut and determine the amount of mouth preparation required to cover that undercut and then we have to decide the path of insertion in short if any undercut is present in residual alveolar ridge of a patient then you have to prepare the mouth before preparing the denture and we have to decide and we have to plan a path of insertion for the denture as well the third step is treatment plan once we have surveyed the patient we have diagnosed it extraorally intraorally we have examined the patient we have poured the cast then we will plan our treatment now in treatment planning we have to choose the type of prosthesis which we will be using in the patient its design its material as well and once the design and material is decided then we have to apply the design considerations so the next step is pre prosthetic surgery in this step excision of tori phrenectomy is done phrenotomy alveoloplasty vestibuloplasty ridge augmentation procedure removal of undercut anything which is required in preparing the denture if the patient is having any undercut any high frenum is there tori is present which will hinder the denture in future we have to remove that for that we will be pro- performing the pre prosthetic surgery now we will be making the primary impression using impression compound after making the impression we have to pour that cast we have to make primary cast for pouring the primary cast we will be using dental plaster and we will survey the primary cast to determine the path of insertion of the denture now after making primary cast primary denture is made we will make secondary impression for secondary impression we will be doing border molding using green stick compound and then record the posterior palatal seal the excess green stick compound is trimmed scraping out of the wax patient in the special tray is done 
and relief holes are provided over areas where additional relief is required making the secondary impression use the secondary impression is made using zinc oxide uzinol impression paste after the secondary impression is made we will be doing the pouring of master cast the secondary master cast is poured by doing the beading of the secondary cast and that is done using beading wax or modeling wax after beading boxing is done of the secondary impression using boxing or modeling wax and then the cast is poured to make the master cast the material used for making the master cast is dental stone now once the master cast is prepared we will make temporary denture base for making temporary denture base we'll use shellac or acrylic material and fabricate the occlusal rims over that using modeling wax once the denture base is made we will record the tentative jaw relation for tentative jaw relation we'll be recording vertical jaw relation centric or horizontal jaw relation and orientation relation using face bow orientation relation is recorded by using face bow after the orientation relation is taken recorded remounting of mandibular cast is done after that proclusive and lateral interocclusal records are made in eccentric relation then the articulator is programmed according to the interocclusal records after all this when the jaws are placed in articulator according to the relation which is recorded anterior teeth arrangement is done after arranging teeth anteriorly anterior try in is done we'll just first check the teeth which we have placed anteriorly are okay are in good relation are in relation we want after that posterior teeth arrangement is done and balanced occlusion is achieved then again try in for verification of the teeth arrangement that it is correctly done or not then we'll wax up the denture and teeth and then processing of the denture is done after processing finishing of the denture is done insertion we have to first check for the proper fit and function and then give proper instruction to the patient we have to recall the patient after 24 hours to check immediate changes and refine the occlusal discrepancies if any we'll call the patient for review after a week and then recall every 3 to 6 month for review for review the dentures can be classified into two removable complete denture or fixed complete denture we are talking about only complete denture right now so in removable complete denture the replacement of missing teeth and supporting tissues is done with the prosthesis that can be removed from mouth this prosthesis is not fixed to your mouth we you have to remove it daily and maintain its hygiene clean it and then we have to insert it again in our mouth but that is not the case with fixed complete denture in fixed complete denture the replacement of missing teeth is done with a prosthesis that is fixed and cannot be removed from the mouth we have to maintain its hygiene when it is inside our mouth itself we cannot remove it so why we are fabricating complete denture what is the need what are the functions of complete denture the first and most important function is aesthetics it restores the lost facial contours 
vertical dimension etc of the face and improves the aesthetics or looks of a person artifacts like stains can be incorporated in order to figure to improve the aesthetics the second important function of complete denture is mastication that is for eating food and third most important is phonetics to restore the speech thank you for watching my video friends if you like my video please subscribe my channel and ring the bell icon for latest updates